If the Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge is your first smartphone, maybe your first Android phone, or even if you just don't need all the bells and whistles that come with the stock TouchWiz launcher, then you can go into the settings and enable Easy Mode. And to do this, we're going to launch the Settings app. Then we're going to scroll down to the Personal section. And then as you can see right here, there's an Easy Mode option. By default, that's set to Standard. Easy Mode will change the layout of that TouchWiz launcher to one that's more, more simpler to learn. To do this, we just need to tap on the Easy Mode option. We get an example of what it will look like here. And if you scroll down, we'll see some basic applications that are enabled by default but we can easily disable them if we don't want them. There's another way to get rid of apps you don't want and I'm going to show you that in a second. Once you've configured these apps to your liking just go ahead and tap the done button at the top and then you're going to be taken to the easy mode screen. This is going to be your main screen. It has your clock, your date, your weather, and some core apps. If you swipe to the right, you're going to see a section where you can add contacts. You can add a, an existing contact, or you can create your own. This is just a way to list your favorite or most used contacts. If you swipe to the left, you're going to see some additional applications. While these might be beneficial to some, usually they're not as important as important as these right here on the main page. You tap this edit button up at the top. Say we needed more than 12 favorite contacts, we can add an additional favorite contacts page and we can remove it. The same with these additional apps. If we wanted an extra page of apps, we just tap on that plus button and we can remove that as well. This is also how we can remove applications we don't need. Say you don't need the magnifier, you just tap on the minus, tap remove, and then it's gone. You can hit done and you'll go out of the edit mode. Now there's no way to move an app from place to place. On the stock TouchWiz launcher, you would usually tap and hold and then slide around. You can't do that even in edit mode. So to move something, so we wanted to move the gallery app down, we'd have to remove it. And then tap the plus button where we wanted it and then add it in there. This is also how you'll add all of your existing apps. So we wanted Twitter on the main page. We just tap the plus button and add it in there. Tap the plus button and add an app from there. Then when you're done, you just tap done. And those apps are right there for you.